Hey, mamas, I am coming at you kind of raw today, right off of my sleeve. I'm feeling like I just need to talk to you. I need to reach you. And I want to really lift you up today and share with you my conviction, not just from my belief, but also what I'm seeing in women who are coming in coaching with me. And I just want you to know how possible it is for you to have the life of your dreams, as sappy as that sounds. We all have dreams. We all have desires that are deep within us that feel fragile and vulnerable, that we sometimes feel bashful sharing with others, which I'm totally supportive of you not sharing right now if that's how you feel about them. And today in this episode, I want to give you the perspective of a mama of four who has created a business, who has gone through really hellish, definitely challenging postpartum mental health challenges. I want you to know how much I believe in you, that you can alchemize the hard stuff you're going through, that you can turn it into gold, that you can turn it into a platform and in a stage to then go live the life that you can only imagine right now. It's totally possible. The universe is on your side. Let's talk about it, baby girl. Welcome to the Postpartum Coach Podcast, where we embrace our needs as moms. We learn to lead ourselves first, then our family and where we create our own healing from the inside out to find our way to the work we were meant to do in this world. I'm your host, a fellow mom of three and a certified life coach, Lizzie Langston. Hey, everybody. This is Lizzie Langston, the postpartum coach coming at you live from Arizona. I I'm a mom of four kids. I um, don't even have like makeup on today or earrings. I typically dress up a little more, but I had to get on because I just got off of a call with my client. I have a handful. I mean, I have over the space of a few years in my business, I've served dozens of women. Um, right now I have a few that I'm serving as well. And this client, um, has changed so much and it inspired me so deeply. I I have to share with you what I believe is possible for you. So let me first paint the picture of where I think you could be right now mentally and emotionally. I think that you could be feeling, I usually call it dysregulated, but that's just fancy language for um, the alarms being raised because there's a lot going on and it's feeling like a lot for you. And so our nervous system gets activated. I just realized my camera is like, (laughs) yeah. Okay. So you could be feeling overwhelmed, overstimulated. It could leave you being snappy, grumpy, irritable. You could be feeling so anxious and worrisome and maybe even intrusive thoughts that you're not able to sleep well. You're not able to really enjoy and connect with your baby You're not able to even have an appetite sometimes. You could be in a total state of survival mode. Now, I want you to know that I've been there. I've had four kids. Um, I had my most recent, my fourth baby girl this, well, I have two boys, two girls, but I had my girl, my baby um, this summer of 2023. And I really, really know what it feels like to be feeling like the four walls of your home are a trap and maybe feeling this sense of impending almost doom or this sense of despair, especially there's a unique kind of challenge that we feel when we are not only struggling, but we're doing so alone. And a lot of times when it's your mental health, that is one of the problems and challenges and hardships for you. It's really scary to share that with people. It is so scary. I remember I actually had to have, I asked my mom to call the OB's office and to make an appointment for me because it wasn't a six week checkup. It wasn't for the baby. It wasn't for me in a physical way. It was, I'm feeling depressive and I'm scared and I want to have a conversation about it. And I was so, it was so out of the normal for me to, to do a phone call for that reason that I had my mom call. So Wherever you are, however much sleep you're getting, which I pray and cross my fingers that it's at least six and a half hours per 24 hour cycle, please, 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 please get six and a half hours because you will deal less with hard intrusive thoughts and stuff. But no matter where you're at, no matter what's going on, I want you to know a few things. Okay. Number one, I want you to know that I've seen a lot of women in their hard times. And I want you to know that deep down inside of you, There is a light 
that can never go out. It doesn't matter how careless or unsupportive your partner was today. It doesn't matter how hard your baby's crying and for how long and how often. It doesn't matter if you have financial strains on you. It doesn't matter if you don't feel comfortable with your mom or your mother-in-law coming to visit and you have no support or you live far away from family. It doesn't matter if you had a C-section, you had birth trauma. There is a light that's in you that can never go out. That doesn't mean you don't need help and support. In fact, a lot of the times it's because we care about that light that's in us, that will to live, that will to survive. We care about it so deeply that of course you would want to call in support. There's no shame in the, the, the most strategic, successful business owners know when to hire somebody to have the eyes to see what they can't see. Okay. Same thing with motherhood. Your motherhood is an entity that you're building over decades And it's important to know when you can't see what you can't see, but you know, you can't see something and you can at least sense, okay, this person can help me and can see it. So don't be ashamed in getting support, but because of this light within you, I know you can be a success. I know you can pull through this. It doesn't matter how many dark days you've had, how alone you feel, how overwhelmed, how burdened you feel. I believe, and I see, and I can feel in women, there is a light that can never, ever go out. It can be dimmed. It can waver for a moment, but it is not able to go out. Okay. That's the first thing I want you to know. The second thing I want you to know is that your body is on your side. Even if she's gained weight and it's frustrating or you feel disgusting or, or you feel nervous about it or insecure or whatever, even if she's gained weight, even if you are not understanding why your body is having all this anxiety and she just seems like a wild horse lately and she's just all over the place and you're hormonal and you can't sleep and you don't know why, I promise you, your body has a reason that she's responding the way she does. And there's a few things that can be playing into it and I wanna go over those briefly, but I promise you, your body is not um, something to be fixed. Your body is your most loyal friend. And if she's exhibiting quote symptoms, which I believe are signals, then what that means is she needs your conscious attention. She needs you to come closer to her. If she was a child, you would kneel down and get on her floor, on the floor at her level. And you'd say, what's going on, honey? Okay. So do not abandon yourself by judging yourself in this hard time, but instead nurture yourself through this. Ask yourself, what do you need? If she says, I need to work with Lizzie, I need somebody to support me, then come book a consultation with me, lizzielangston.com forward slash consult. If she says, I just need some good energy and I need somebody to just tell me that it's going to be okay and that they've been through this and that I can make it through this, then keep listening to this episode. Or maybe just go to lizzielangston.com forward slash course and get my course, my work with me page, everything that you need. I have low cost and higher end, more high touch options for you. But whatever she says she needs, does she need to go on a walk? Does she need to get a mother's helper or a nanny? Does she need to leave the baby for a while with somebody else that she trusts and take an effing break? What does she need? Ask her and she will tell you. But if you ask your body from a place of, what do you need? I'm so bugged. Like, can you just get your shiz together right now? You're not going to get answers. Okay. So get down on your body's level and ask her what she needs. And I promise there are going to be answers for you. If you need help finding those answers, like I said, lizzielangston.com forward slash work with me, go to my work with me page and help yourself. There's a menu of things that you can go to. That page will be up soon. If it's not up when you go to it, it's almost up and you can just go to my website. And definitely if I could make a recommendation to you, I would say definitely sign up for my free text message series, which is also coming very shortly. If it's not there yet, it will be. So make sure you get on my email list so that you don't miss it and you can get my get out of the postpartum rut free mini course. Okay. So that was number two, uh, which is on my homepage, lizzielangston.com. That was the second thing I want to tell you is that your body is on your side. She is so, so supportive of you. She is trying to get your attention. And if she's breaking down, if it seems like she's breaking down, I want to tell you that, that you are at the eye of the storm. There is, um, 
a really, 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 I'm going to look it up. So like, I'm actually doing this in real time. So hang with me, but I found, um, this artwork from, it was like on, um, what's it called? Etsy. Okay. But I got to tell you, I'm going to pull it up because I want to make sure I say it's a, this African legend of, okay. So it's Orisha Oya, O-R-I-S-H-A and then O-Y-A. And she's, um, it's African inspired, but she's like a goddess in African culture. And I'm really being general with this. Um, and I do not claim this as my own. This this belongs to African culture, okay? Um, but the shop is called In the Flow of Magic on Etsy. Anyway, I'll put the link in the show notes so that you can see this beautiful art. But there is this this um, this story of this goddess who is in the middle of the storm, and she is the storm. I want to offer you, and I know this sounds crazy, but I believe that any breakdown that's happening is actually the magic dark. It's actually a time of rebirthing. Okay. When the world, the story goes that when the world was being created, there was a goddess upon the waters and that there was just water and, and there was darkness. And I want to offer to you that when you feel like you're in a path or a period of darkness in your life and things are low and you're trying to get out, don't miss the potency of darkness. There is a lesson to be learned. And I noticed the pattern before women are able to kind of quote, break three, break through and, and heal and see the light. They've got to dig deep and, and surrender to the darkness and say, what is there for me to learn here? When I say surrender to the darkness, I don't mean give in to suicidal thoughts. Okay. I'm not talking about like, give up your life. I'm saying, to stop resisting and open yourself and say, what can I learn? What is this experience here to teach me right now? So going back to this African goddess, she isn't just in the storm. She's at the eye of the storm, but she also is the storm. Okay. I believe that your highest self, which is floating around somewhere in heaven, (laughs) like you have you that's on this planet, but then there's your highest self. Okay. That is looking out for who you become in this lifetime and this version of you. She's working with you during this dark time to reset your foundations, to help you pivot so you can actually live the life you want to live. Tell me this, do you have a vision of the life that you want deep down inside of you? And it's different from the life you're currently living. And I'm not talking about the life you're living in the middle of the darkness. I'm talking about before things got hard right now, postpartum or however far out postpartum you are before things got challenging and you started struggling with your mental health or your anxiety, or you started feeling low stressed, whatever it is before all of that was your life living exactly how you always dreamed it would be. Was it feeling like it was at its maximum full capacity and potential that you were completely fulfilling your potential? I'm going to say 99% of women are going to be like, well, no, I mean, I was trying to get there, but no, I want to offer that. Sometimes the universe intervenes in the form of mental health challenge, in the form of a financial crisis, in the form of a car accident or something unfortunate of some kind, whether it's you or somebody you love to grab your attention and say, Hey, I've heard the desires deep down in you. You can't hide them from the universe. Okay. Even if you don't pray out loud and you're not like a prayer person, even if you don't even have a religion, just by being human, you are a creator. And just by having a dream in you, you are creating it. And a lot of times what we don't mean to do is we actually manifest hard times that are designed to expedite us and to kind of pivot our path more quickly to the life we really desire to live. So let me give you an example. I'm going to give you an example from my life. And I hope that this really helps you see that there is a reason and a purpose for the challenge that you're going through right now. And you can alchemize, you can move through it. And I can definitely help you do that whether it's anxiety, depressiveness, whether it's intrusive thoughts, whether it's loneliness, overwhelm, overstimulation, or, and, or you might just be feeling like, you know what? I know I had a traumatic childhood. I dealt with it the best I could. And then for some reason, since I've had my baby and maybe there was additional trauma during the baby having process, whether during pregnancy or birth or whatever, postpartum. Now my body is screaming at me. It's like, 
I am maxed out. I am beyond what I can cope with. I need support. It is time to deal with the trauma that's at hand. I am here for you. So again, lizzielangston.com, get my free, get out of the postpartum rut series, and then also check out other offerings I have for you. So let's see, in 2014, my 14, I became a mom and I, I had preeclampsia sneak up at 38 weeks. And so there was an emergency induction. I was still able to have the baby vaginally, but because I was induced, I was then at risk for, and I was induced because of preeclampsia. And so I was at risk for a postpartum hemorrhage, which I didn't know. So I hemorrhaged a quarter of my body's blood supply somewhere in the middle of the night after having my first baby, like maybe within 10 hours or less after having baby. And so when I went to have my, and you can imagine that was just grueling to recover from, I had a blood, uh, what was it? A two unit blood transfusion. And so when I went to have my second baby with the same doctor in the same hospital, I didn't realize it, but I was having symptoms of severe PTSD being in that building. And I didn't know it. And then that carried over into my house when I got home, not even just in the hospital. And I started to just have generalized postpartum anxiety. And it was very, very, um, medically related And it makes sense that the one time that I called the ambulance, actually, I screamed at my husband and basically made him (laughs) call the ambulance, even though he was like, I think this is anxiety. He could sense it. I couldn't. I was like, this is definitely real. I am internally bleeding. That's what I was convinced of. And that makes sense because it was still more PTSD essentially, because I had bled internally and then, um, and then externally with my, um, preeclampsia and then the postpartum hemorrhage after my first. So this followed me and really haunted me after I had my second baby. And I tried my best to process that birth experience. I told friends about it, but it was heavy guys. It was heavy. And honestly, like the friends that I told tried their best to hold the space for me, but it freaks women out. I mean, even if she wants to hold space for you, it's scary for a mom who wants to have more kids to hear about how you almost died having your kids. Right. And so that's why we hire professionals, but I didn't really know. I wasn't really tuned in to like the support that was out there at that time. And this was 10 years ago. And 10 years ago, postpartum coaching, I do not believe existed. And if it did, it was not anywhere in my world. There was life coaching was barely making an entrance because life coaching only started in the eighties. And then we had therapy, which, uh, I also didn't even think about at that time. So fast forward to my third baby and I had my third baby in September of 2017 and by January of that next year, I was in a dark depression, intrusive, scary, harming baby thoughts. And I had three kids, three and under, and we stopped everything because I was just like having really scary thoughts. I didn't feel safe at home anymore. And my, my husband couldn't work because I needed someone to be with me. So we ended up selling our home, moving in with my in-laws and, um, gratefully they were somewhat available to kind of help me through that time as my husband continued working but we sold our home and moved. And during that time, my in-laws took the kids for us so that we could kind of have like a couple of days to ourselves, husband and I. And my goal during that time was to really figure out how I was going to, um, heal. And anyway, a lot of cool stuff happened, but fast forward to now, now I have a business. I'm thriving. I just had my fourth baby, incredible postpartum. Yeah. It was intense. There were ups and downs. There were a couple, um, kind of red flag moments where I wasn't getting enough sleep because she was having undiagnosable like feeding issues that we were trying to get to the bottom of. But I can look back and I can see how my dark time was my reawakening. And listen, I'm not trying to say that this isn't serious and that you shouldn't get medical help to some degree. And if you want antidepressants, I am in full support of that. I'm just also trying to show you that there's a layer of aspects to any one experience. There's the physical stuff. Yeah. Hormones and sleep are important. There's the emotional stuff. Yeah. How you handle your emotions and the thoughts that you think in your past trauma is important to how, and it's going to play a role, but there's also the spiritual realm that's at play in any given moment. And I'm not talking about religion. I'm just talking about in general, the broad connection you have with your future and your past and the meaning and your, your reasons for being on this earth and the things that are written in the stars that you're going to do in this lifetime. There are forces on the other side of this, of the veil that people, ancestors, loved angels, spirit guides, they care about you. And 
There's also the force within you that is a light that can never go out that has been calling forth and deeply desiring in quiet moments, a life that is different and better and and more happy and beautiful and expanded than the life that you were living and are living. And so just notice that you might be in the middle of the storm, but you might also be the storm. You might've brought this here to reawaken you and to rebirth you into a new sphere of existence that you could only dream of, but that is meant for you because if you can desire it, you can have it. Because if you can desire it, you're meant to have it. It's not just that you can have it. If it's in you, if the desire is in you, you're meant to. If you desire to run a business, you're meant to run a business. Now, that doesn't mean that every time you have a desire, you're obligated to then go pursue that because we have free will, free choice, and there's many, many, many possibilities in your future. And you always get to choose them. Nothing is acting upon you. However, I just want you to know that your desires are more than just a pipe dream. Your desires can be living actual things that are meant to be co-created with you and they will change you just as much as you will go and develop them in the world. So you can go to lizzielangston.com and get my get out of the postpartum rut free mini series. All of my, my free text series, everything free that I offer you will be at lizzielangston.com. Get some help right now and know that you are invincible. And I don't even mean that in a cheesy way. Like I see moms and I see my past self this cannot take you down. Like I shouldn't say it cannot because there are some women who unfortunately literally don't make it out of mental health challenges. And so I, I want to reemphasize this is real. And I don't say that to scare you, but I want you to know that if you're watching this video still and you're looking into my eyes or you're watch, you know, listening to this podcast and you're, you're still with me, that you have that light. So tap into that light within you. There's a meditation on lizzielangston.com that is a meditation for postpartum and for calmness and resilience. You can get download that meditation right now. It can get delivered to your inbox. You can do it, but tap into that light within you. Now, in order to get through this, you might need to dig deeper than you've ever digged, dug, whatever. <laughs> you might need to invest in things and in help to, to help you alchemize and kind of get through and learn what you need to learn to be able to, to endure and thrive and be resilient in this experience in a way that you never have before. So I want you to be open to listening to new pings and new spiritual, like, Oh, work with this person or, um, go see that provider, like that specialist, or actually you don't need a specialist. You need to just read this book or whatever it is. Like be spiritually open, open yourself. Because the one thing that I know about postpartum women, and this isn't just like in the first six weeks or the first year, this is women who carry trauma specifically from motherhood type activities, pregnancy, childbirth, postpartum, and even child uh, childhood trauma that has more to do with their relationship with their mother. You are spiritually entitled to help because you are birthing the next generation. And so in so doing, you get to have help that will help you raise the next generation and that will help you be the mother you want to be for the next generation. So that's just what I believe. Okay. That is what I believe is I believe there's a certain entitlement that women have to spiritual guidance and help with postpartum specific problems because um, you're not alone in this. And it's a deeply feminine time. You are extremely intuitive right now. You are extremely intuitive, especially when you're a little bit um, sleep deprived. You're kind of in between worlds. And even when you're not sleep deprived, especially if you're, if you have a bleed, if you have a cycle during your menstruation, you are extremely intuitive. Use your female feminine intuition, tap into it like you never have before and follow it. And do not think you need to over explain your gut feelings of survival and how you're going to thrive to somebody else and get their approval. Do what you need to do. Sure. Let your partner know what you're doing, get their, um, you know, get their blessing, but you're an adult and you are responsible for listening to the spiritual guidance that comes your way. Okay. I am here to support you. I am open. I have free coaching, um, Bots, it's not, sorry, the coaching is not free, but I have free consultations right now in January, 2024, the consultations will be $97. But then if you do hire us, we won't charge you for the consultation. So you'll pay for it. And then if you hire the coach here, if you hire me, then you will, it will be rolled into your package. Okay. But if you don't end up hiring, then it's not free. I also have 90 minute sessions that you can do a deep processing session with me for 90 minutes. And all of that you can book on my website. Just go to my work with me page, get on lizzielangston.com. Okay. Um, but I do particularly have some free or sorry, some private coaching spots available. So if you know that you need deep support and you want to do a deep transformation and you are done messing around and you want a clear, sure guarantee 
that you're going to get from point A to point B, and you're going to do it safely and in a healthy way, and you're going to alchemize, private coaching is the one and only container. I shouldn't say the one and all only because there will be a group coaching membership launching in January. And that is also going to be extremely potent and powerful. It's just different touch points. That one's going to be group. This one will be just me and you private. So go to lizzielangston.com forward slash consult to book the consult. And I will see you there. Um, but know that you can do this. I see you. I'm standing with you. You are stronger than you will ever know. And this experience can teach you that. And I would love to help show you the way and help you rebirth, be a doula to you rebirthing yourself. Okay. I'll see you. Um, if you can talk to me, I would love to talk to you. I'll see you next week. Hey, Lizzie here. I've helped dozens of postpartum moms just like you to manage their postpartum anxiety and deconstruct their postpartum depression. It's really easy for me. So if you're ready to feel better, I know the way let's chat on the phone. Set up a time by going to lizzielangston.com forward slash consult. It's pretty simple and I will be calling you soon.